Hey, I'm Justin. Welcome to Diabetic. I am at CES in Las Vegas, and I'm at the Tandem booth, and I'm here to talk with someone at Tandem about the all-new Moby Pump. I got an exclusive look at the Moby app. It's different than the T-Slim X2 Pumps app, and we learned a lot. We also went through all of the different accessories, so enjoy. Well, I'll start with actually what we um, what is very new for us. This is the actually the adhesive sleeve. With, as we have we talked about previously, the shorter five inch infusion set. You can see here, this is designed so how you wear it on your body, no matter wh wherever you want to put it. The interesting thing about this is it's actually bi-directional. So you can actually change it around on your body as you're wearing it and take it on and off no matter, for, and be able to disconnect in short periods of time, like having a shower as an example. Yeah, so like based off of what someone's wearing, what outfit you're wearing, you may want to switch, I guess, the angle. Yep, you, the angle and where you place them. That's a beauty about tandem pumps as well. It's, it's, you can wear them occasionally and you can move them around as much as you want with, with different infusion sets as well. How long is it recommended that this patch, like, or expected yep. that that patch would last? Great question. Generally up to a th about three days, usually for the same amount of time that you'll change your infusion set out. Okay, great. What's next? How, how else can we wear this thing? Let's start with the other way you can wear the pump as well, and that's with our case that it also comes with when, when you get Moby. Um, as I mentioned on the sleeve itself, it's also bi-directional. So the, des Here, bring this closer. Show, the show design me. there is you can actually put it both ways, and why we, why we do that is so you can clip it onto your belt, and you can actually change the way you want to wear it around if, if you want to use the, the pump, up, the pump bat button to check the status of the pump as well. And does this, this comes included with Moby? Exactly, exactly. so actually both, the, the case will come included with Moby and we'll provide a sample of, of two of the sleeves as well um, when, with your initial shipment too. Okay, and then sleeves, are those an added extra? You have to go buy those at like a... They're an optional accessory that you can purchase. Where would you? Where would someone buy them? We'll, we'll, uh, we'll start off by selling them directly on, on, uh, on Tandem Source our, outside of. Okay, cool. Now, what's this? Tell me about this charger. Well, this is the official Tandem Moby charger. So as you notice with the pump itself, there's no buttons, there's no ports on the pump. So there's actually nothing to plug in. So the only way you charge it is by using a, a total, completely wireless charger. So you place, the, place it on there and, and like a mobile phone charger, the, the pump itself will start charging. And this is a Qi charger? Yes, correct. That's the Qi standard that, okay. that we have with the Moby pump. Okay, now my expectation would be I've got a Qi charger at home, I charge my iPhone on it, I charge my AirPods on it, could I charge my Moby on it? Well, I, I, I have to tell you this, but, but we, we obviously, there's many, many different types of chargers out there. We can only test and, and, and verify that the Moby pump will actually charge with the one, the one that we supply with you. Okay, so do what you will, uh, but Tandem has only tested it with this, and you're going to have that, so why not use it? Um, all right, let's go to this. So this isn't necessarily an accessory, right? But this is like the cartridge, or this is what, cartridge. yeah. That, and that's the cartridge. That, that this is actually how you fill the cartridge with insulin. So you can actually see there, Justin. And there's a there's a syringe there. So there's no extra syringe that comes with the cartridge. You literally just put on your insulin vial, pull the plunger down to the desired amount of insulin, and and actually you can then disassemble it. Connect it to the pump, like so. Would you say, so I don't have a lot of experience with the T-Slim myself. It sounded like, is there less waste because of the way that this is filled? Yeah, so I mean the biggest difference is there's no extra syringe that you, you, that you need to then obviously take a vial, fill it with a, fill a syringe and then insert it into the, the cartridge. This is an all-in-one built-in uh, cartridge assembly. Okay, awesome. And I know that the Moby app is different than the T-Slim app. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Maybe walk me through what the app looks like? Yeah, sure. It's it's so I've got it up and running right here. So you can see we're in we're in nighttime mode. So it actually uses the settings from the from the iPhone to adjust that if you want it to. Obviously during that you can see when you want to give yourself a bolus, it'll it'll take the re the readings from the CGM and you can easily program uh, how many carbs you might be using. You can override it with if you want in units. And then something that a lot of our, our customers have been asking for, the ability to, to deliver an extended bolus. And that's something very unique. You can only deliver an, um, an extended bolus using Control IQ. No other automated in, in, insulin delivery system can, 
can do can do that. So that's on T Slim also that ability. Uh, not on the mobile mobile app, only on the pump itself. So you have to do it. This is the first time that we've been able to integrate that into the app itself. You can see there's an actions button in there. So that's all of your 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 actions that you want to be able to do with control IQ, turning on exercise, programming, uh, sleep activity, sleep schedules is all done through there. And you can also, this is also how you can easily um, change out your cartridge um, throughout the Mobi app. It, it's all run through through the Mobi app itself. And we also have a, a nice little tutorial that will actually help walk you through the process for people that haven't done it too many times. It's always built in there for you if you'll be able to do it as well. And then finally, we have all of all of the information that you might want to see in your you'd expect to see in your pump itself. Being able to adjust your um, control IQ settings, your, your your insulin settings, being able to start and stop your CGM program and adjust your alerts and alarms. We've got a vibrate option in there, so on the pump, it's not always an audible alarm that's built in there too. And the other neat thing that we have that that probably people haven't seen before is that actually if you if you do misplace your pump for whatever reason you disconnected it it can actually play a sound directly on the on the app as well so it can it'll audibly play it and you can you might be able to hear that now so, so this is find my moby find your moby that's i i think i think you just branded it for us yeah <laughs> that's great yeah i just took find my my find my friends from apple but that that's great so you, you know you're you're doing a pump site change you leave it in your living room it gets under the couch, you're going to find it. You're going to find it, as, as, as you just got to play the sound. Very cool. That extended bolus feature on the app, do we see that coming to the T-Slim app? Yeah, good question. So the good, the good thing about this is there's a lot of similarities. There are, there are many steps to doing that, but that's absolutely what we're, we're, we are working on that. A question I get a lot about Moby is, yeah, it's coming out in the US early next year, but what about availability outside the US. Do you have any information on that? Uh, nothing nothing I can share in terms of timing today, but but and and as I said, there's many steps, including the regulatory steps to do that. We are rolling it out this year and we're gonna start rolling that out globally very soon. Okay. Ben, thank you so much uh, for this conversation. We also spoke about the Libre 2 Plus, so if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. I also interviewed Abbott to get even more info about their new Libre 2 Plus CGM. And I spoke with Dexcom about their latest 15-day CGM called Stello. And I got more updates on the Dexcom G7. That releases Monday on the podcast. Stay tuned for more content at CES and more content from Tandem. I interviewed them about the Libre 2 Plus, the new CGM 15-day wear. That video is on my Patreon, but I've also got more videos coming on YouTube. So stay tuned. As always, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and click that bell for alerts for new videos. Oh, we've got someone's alarm going off, so I guess it's time to go. I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.